Despite all the advances in the treatment of early breast cancer, we have to realize that a substantial proportion of patients looks at the risk of recurrence. In hormone receptor positive breast cancer, this is not only the risk for early recurrence, but that risk persists for a long period of time. Now, traditionally, we're trying to assess the individual risk based on tumor size, nodal status. But in addition, we are increasingly trying to factor in biological prognosticators, such as luminal type of the disease, such as proliferation kinetics. And hopefully in the future, we will be able to even better pin down on the individual level the prognosis or the risk of recurrence based on dynamic biomarkers. For example, the presence, absence, or clearance of circulating uh, tumor DNA, or the response to near adjuvant treatment. Now, we have excellent treatments for the low-risk patients where we consider the escalation. For those patients with some increased risk indicators, we need to escalate treatments, and we can do so by intensifying the endocrine treatment, by increasing the duration, by using innovative agents. This is why we explore CERTs in the early setting, by adding CDK46 inhibitors or by adding chemotherapy. And I think the currently ongoing clinical trials will help us to better identify who needs such escalation of treatment and eventually also improve the outcome of our patients. Intensification or escalation of adjuvant treatment in the high or intermediate risk of patients with HR positive or 2 negative disease is a major issue since we need to optimize treatment and to reduce the risk of recurrence. Natalie and Monarchy trial clearly demonstrated that using CDK46 inhibitors for two or three years may improve invasive disease free survival. The next generation of trials are now evaluating the use of next generation CERTs in the Ariovan setting. Lidera and Cambria 2 are using respectively Giredestrant and Camizestrant in a frontline approach in the high risk population. We have the Cambria 1 using a switch approach of Camizestrant and Ember 4 using Imlunestrant and switch approach. But we know perfectly that we have a specific trial that is the ELEGANT trial in which elastrant is using in an high risk population only with a switch strategy. So patients after receiving adjuvant CDK46 inhibitors plus endocrine therapy finally switch to the use of elastrant versus the standard of care. And I believe this trial is very original because this is a pure high risk population we have much more opportunity, of course, to impact on the long-term outcome. And there is also an agonistic effect of the drug that may improve the quality of life, demonstrating also a huge activity in delaying the probability of developing resistance. We will see in the future how this trial will translate in a long-term outcome of HR-positive, HER2-negative, high-risk early breast cancer.